What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. So, obviously, one of my favorites is Chris. So, uh, this one's called The Biggest No Contact Mistake. Now, um, I actually never... So, there was a point in time where I, you know, started focusing on myself and, you know, really started cranking out these videos, the original content. So, for anybody who's new to my channel, okay, um, from all the reaction content, uh, here, let me just mute that shit um i created like 600 and 650 maybe something like that original videos um so you guys can go back and watch all of those plus original content is i'm probably gonna do um like i don't know two to three original videos a week okay but this is a way for me to have content go up every day sometimes twice a day um reinforcing the same things i've been saying because I sort of want to prove a point that the questions that you guys are asking and the stuff that you guys are pointing out and wondering about is sort of the same, but it's hard to see that when you're dealing with a lot of emotions. So, um, yeah. And besides that, um, he's one of my favorite people to react to. His videos are really short. So let's get into it. Hey, so in this video, I'm going to talk about the biggest mistake you can make when going no contact on a girl. If you do this, you will turn a girl off and she will likely pull away from you even more. So the reason I'm making this video today is because I got an email from a guy who said to me he basically went no contact on his girlfriend when she started to pull away from him and she started talking about leaving the relationship. She said she was actually interested in dating other people and she wanted to try that and see how it went. So he basically was forced into a position where she left him and he tried to chase her and it didn't work. She just kept pulling further and further away. That's actually a very common thing. Very, very common thing, fellas. You guys that are going, okay, let's, I'm, from your perspective, right? You guys are going through it. You guys are going through a hard time. She's pulling away. The first thing, the first instinct is I need to save this. I need to, I need to do whatever she wants. Okay. Which basically means, we think, see, I went through this exact same shit. So when she's like, I want to walk away, I'm going to, I want to see other people. Guys are like, what do I need to do? How do I fix this? And it's because most guys don't understand what the right thing to do is, which is mirror the actions and go, okay, cool. You want to walk away. That's fine. I, I would rather work it out. I would rather continue. But if that's, if that's what you want, you go ahead. Right. And that messes with them a lot more than you think they're still going to go and do what they want because they're, hu they're, they're free to do that. They're human beings. But the more you try to hold on, the, the more you chase and pursue, the faster that they're going to go to that new thing. So it's really, a, it's, it's such a counterintuitive thing that you really have to do in order to get somebody to start looking your way again. But it, but me personally, if the person that was, I was going out with said, I want to go date other people, I would just let them go completely. Okay. Some of you guys don't want to do that. Some of you guys still want to work things out, but, um, the fastest way to get them to go, wait a minute is to say, look, give them the breakup. There's the door. Okay. If you want to come back, you can try. But, uh, if I'm, you know, if I'm single and available, I want to date you again. Sure. Maybe we can give it a shot again. You have to. When you walk away, you're communicating your value. When you sit down and go, you know what? I'm not just going to change who I am and and follow your lead because you want to walk away, right? Yeah, of course. Look, and and look, there are problems that come from both sides of a relationship, the man and the woman, right? And if the person, if she's walking away because the dude isn't doing anything with his fucking life, that's one thing, right? But and that's when guys have to go, you know, uh, okay, I got to put some extra work into my character here. I got to level up a little bit. But, um, you know, if that's not the case and, you know, you're working really hard and, and um, you're doing your thing, then, of course, the best thing for you to do is just let them go, right? And um, you'll get a call faster than you think. She left him and he tried to chase her and it didn't work. She just kept pulling further and further away. So he decided to go no contact. Now, the big mistake he made is that when she reached out to him, he didn't respond. He thought no contact means no contact and you keep going no contact for what? Four, five, six, seven weeks? 
What's the point of going no contact if you can't establish contact with her again at some point in time? But the whole reason behind no contact is that you're capturing her attention again. Exactly. See, this goes in with the Coach Lee video I did the other day, should you ignore your ex, right? And a lot of people don't know what to say, so they just completely ignore it. Now, if, again, if you're trying to get over the whole thing, you're trying to move on with your life, you're trying to move forward, fine, don't answer them, right? You can tell them to fuck off and go kick rocks. But most of you guys that start this, here's what I want. Here's what I want for you. So you guys know my intentions. I want them to contact you so that you can go, yeah, you know what? Maybe I don't want to be with you anymore. You broke my heart. I don't even want to try this anymore. Or you can, or you can choose. I want to give you the choice, right? I want to give you the power to make the decision. Cause some of you guys really do want them back in your life. Some of you guys don't. Some of you guys just want to hurt them, which is still the wrong mentality, but I still want to put the power back into your hands. And really the best way to do that is always to be mission focused. Okay. I'm not going to say that this video, I say it in every fucking video, even my other channel. So mission, but mission first and, and make sure that you're focused on it every single day, no matter what, because that way no one can sway you. When somebody wants out, you just let them go. And that's why I keep talking about letting go and the energy behind it and, and the cultivation of your energy. Don't give away your energy so easily. There's a battle for it. There's a battle for your attention. Okay. That's the reason why you go no contact on a girl because it generates anxiety in a girl's mind. It gets her focused back onto you. It also gives her space and freedom and she starts to feel less suffocated and less stressed around you and she starts to change her impression of you. And I want to go into that a little bit more because the reason why that person leaves is because they have negative emotions toward you. See, like I said, that emotional dials turned up to 11 when they decide to leave you. It's been, you know, they've been thinking about it for weeks, sometimes months and sometimes years. So when they do, when they finally do it, they're relieved, right? So if you continue to chase, you're only going to keep that emotional dial about you, how they feel about you high. Okay. And I know it sounds like a good thing, but it's not, you want it to come down. You in terms of negativity, let's just put it like that. Then the negativity dials way up instead of the positivity dial. Okay. So when you stand up for yourself, when you respect yourself, you respect your time and she sees you as a man and she respects you that emotion, that positive dial will go back up. The negative dial will come back down. That's the power of time. Okay. The power of time and no contact. W when you use the power of time, to, you know, it's so much easier for you to understand once you see it and you know, under, like it's in, um, 48 laws of power as well. Uh, Robert Green. When you look into that and you're like, okay, shit, man, you know what? Don't give away. It's, again, it's about just respecting yourself. Cause if you start chasing somebody that clearly wants out of your life, they know and they, because you're sub communicating weakness. So, and she starts to think about you and she starts to miss you. That's why it's one of the most effective ways to get a girl back, but you don't want to go no contact and become passive aggressive about it. When she reaches out to you and then you just ignore her text messages or calls that's not what you want to do. When she reaches out to you, you have to respond and then set up a date to meet up with her. There is no point going no contact and saying, I'm not going to reach out to this girl for six weeks and I'm going to go no contact for six weeks. Even if she reaches out to me, that defeats the purpose of no contact. When she reaches out to you, make sure she responds. But if she doesn't reach out to you, Sorry. you maintain no contact. Ideally, you would maintain no contact forever. For me, that's what I do. I really don't reach out to women. If I decide to go no contact, that's it. It's it's no contact for life until she reaches out to me. There are some exceptions to that rule, but that's for specific situations. But generally, if she reaches out to you, you want to respond because that's the whole point of going no contact. So keep that in mind when you go no contact. And if your girlfriend's pulled away from you and you need to get her back and keep her interested in you, I highly recommend you get a copy of my guide. It will show you everything you need to know to keep a girl interested and to maintain attraction over the long run, you can pick up your copy today by clicking on the link below. Yeah, keeping so um, keeping attraction high over the long run is extremely, extremely important because guys, think about it. If remember what I said about the the positive dial and the negative dial, the positive dial is just you having fun, having a good time, not worrying about things you can't control, and the negative dial, you know, those dials get played with all the time. Okay. So when the emotional, the negativity dial goes up too high, they pull away because naturally humans don't want to be around negativity. So we'll pull away. Okay. 
And then people that are positive that give them fun feelings, right? Remember, it's all about fucking feelings. Well, when when that is dialed up, right? Hi, they're in love with you, right? They'll start feeling more comfortable and safe, and then they'll want to be around you more. So the negativity dials low, the positivity dials high. The problem is what guys end up doing is they start answering text messages too fast. And that's one notch on the negative. And then he's too predictable, another notch, right? And slowly, and then she'll start subtly. This is why it's so hard for guys because it's such a subtle pullback that guys are like, oh, maybe she's just bitchy. And they keep the same fucking behavior instead of just going, you know what? Uh, I'm, I'm seeing this now. And that's, that, that's why reading the books is so important because you can see it happening real time and you can make the, the adjustments real time. Okay. In the present moment, then you can fix things as, as it happens on the fly, because look guys, dating is, is, is simple in terms of the stuff you have to do, but it's not easy. Right. So anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video, pick up all the books or in the description box down below and in the pinned comment section. If I forget, just put a comment saying, Kyle, you forgot idiot. And I'll see you guys.